made it out here to the woods. We then made it out here to the woods. Bo out here running around, having a good time. Got the uh, 22 Winchester Wildcat. Got a little 10 round clip, and then I got this 25 round mag. And we're just gonna walk through the woods here. Maybe um, pop a pine cone or something like that. And then just watch how Bo reacts to the sound of the gunfire, the live gunfire. So. Get this set up here real quick. Yeah, I got nothing. Let's roll, Bo. So, it'd be nice if we could find a squirrel. Got quite a few in my bike yard, but I haven't seen them lately, so. I have to get out there early in the morning and pop a squirrel for me and Bo to train with. Bo, put that nasty tissue paper down. That might have been the paper that somebody used the boo-boo with, boy. Come on, let's go over here. Getting close by over here. I really want him on my left side. Oh, over here. And just file for a couple of rounds. Good boy. That's a good boy. He seemed a little scared there. Come here, Bo. That's a good boy. Good boy, Bo. Tail still wagging, that's a good sign. Good boy, bro. Don't bite me. Good boy. Bo. Good boy. That's a good boy, bro. That's a good boy. Hmm? Watch out. What is it? Come on. You seem a little, a little startled, I think, with the sound. He tried to run off just then and call him back. Tail still up, not tucked to clench the legs. He still wagging. I think we're foul for a few more. I still ain't knocked the pine cone down yet. That's a good boy, Bo. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Can I knock a pine cone down for me? All right. One, two. Huh? 
current comb. Coming right up. Hmm. So, we'll continue to come out here. Um, you know, try to come out here maybe once, twice a week. Let him get used to the sound of the live fire from the gun. And um, just try to get him, you know, acclimated, used to hearing gunfire. He seems to be just fine right now. He's wandering off doing his normal little thing, smelling. Don't seem to be too too shook or scared or anything like that because, um, you know, you can really scare a dog with firing. But we start out with a 22, something light. Doesn't really have a loud sound, booming sound to it when you fire it. And then we, um, once he gets a little older, older, once he gets a little older, uh, we'll move up to like the 12 gauge shotgun, deer rifle, handgun, 49 millimeter, that kind of stuff, firing it around him. Um, just so we get used to something a little louder. Oh, come here. Heel, heel, come on, heel, good boy, sit, 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 bow, sit, good sit, good sit. Bow, here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna incorporate some retrieving into this live fire. So I'm gonna go back to the truck. I'm gonna get the, um, our orange um, dummy. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire a shot and then I'll throw the dummy out and let him retrieve it back to me. Something to kind of distract him from the gunshot, from the, the actual sound of the gun. And um, that'll actually help out also. I'm gonna head back to the truck and so what I got here is just the Ruglo Cabela dummy again. I think I showed y'all this in the last video. It still has the a lot of the duck scent on it. And I just got my long leash here. Probably about I think this is a 20 foot leash, either 15 or 20 foot leash. And um, I'm gonna put it on him. I'm gonna just get right out here outside the truck and I'm gonna you know toss the dummy out here, fire a shot and then have him go retrieve it. That's a good boy. Drop it. Give it. Give. Give. Good boy. Good boy, bro. Good boy. Catch it up. Here. Here. That's a good boy. Good job, bro. Good boy. Good boy. Out of saying on your nose.
Hey, destructive. <laughs> he can do how to play in and digging he want to out here. Oh my God. But uh, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I think um, it was a success. I think Bo did a really good job. It did, um, you know, start him or shake him a little, the sign of the, the 22 rifle, but he didn't you know, bolt or run off back to the truck. He knew where the truck was at the whole time. He didn't go back to the truck. I think one time he started like trot slowly back towards the truck and I called him and he came back. And actually every time I called him, he came to me, even though I was holding the gun and he knew that the, the sound came from the gun. And as you can see here on this last little um, training that I just did, little training I did with him with the retrieving um, I did it one time. I threw the duck out, fired the gun, and it kind of shook him. He just stood still. He didn't go, you know, try to retrieve the, the dummy or anything. So, you know, I put the gun down and just, you know, took steps backwards, moving too fast. So simplified. Took steps backwards, got him back, you know, crazy. The chase out there, the bumper, threw him a bunch of them out there. Then picked the gun back up and fired off another shot. And he did kind of the same thing. So put it down and again, started throwing bumpers back out there again. And then at the end, I just finished up with walking around, walking a little bit, shooting the 22 and calling him to my side just to let him know that everything's okay. So, but we'll continue to come out here and do this. Um, we could call this is, this is officially his first trip to like the woods, the outdoors to a different, um, you know, terrain, fuel type. Uh, this is his first time ever away from the house out here walking in you know different type of fuel vegetation different smells all of that kind of stuff so i think he's really enjoying it i think he likes the sand the most because uh he has been going crazy over here in the sand for probably the last five to ten minutes But yeah, that's it. Um, that's all I got for y'all today. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to continue with the box training. Um, next big thing, because um, I think he pretty much has sit and down. You know, he's learned those two. He's got those two down. Next thing is placing them on the box and getting them to stay. So that'll be the next things, two things that we're going to work on. It's going to placing them on the box and getting them to stay. But at the same time, you wanna we're gonna continue to reiterate the sit and the down. So um, once he's on the box, you know we'll have him sit or either go down 
or whatever and reward them also but that's pretty much the plan hope y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a comment um, below if you care to and i'll see y'all on the next one hope y'all enjoyed it